Hey Python folks, I'm gonna sort 1 billion integers in Python and we're gonna see who's gonna beat the other machine. Here are the contenders. I've got the MacBook Air M1 right here, tiny little guy, and the big boy, 64 gigabyte powerhouse Core i9 Intel MacBook Pro, 16 inch. I've got the same program on them, really short little program that's using NumPy or NumPy as I like to call it to generate 1 billion items and I'm gonna use NumPy's sort function to sort them. I'm also going to use the time module to get a perf counter before and after the sort to see how long it takes. Simple test. It's also a one processor test. Now, if you do want to see a multi-processor test, check out my Python test with Mandelbrot using these two machines. I'll link to the video down below. Let's take a quick look at what's going on here. So I've got this multiple. Let's make sure this is a billion. We have, uh, oh, not enough, not enough zeros. We need one more zero to make it a billion. That was a hundred million. Okay, so I need to do the same thing over here. Yep, that's a billion. So I'm using the NumPy random generator and I'm getting that into an array. That's all being kept in memory. Now, some of you might say, oh, every time you generate the new numbers, they might be different. So the sorting might not work the same way or be inconsistent. Well, I'm gonna execute this a couple of times to get an average. And I know at this point that I do get pretty close numbers. So that really shouldn't matter. All right, after the execution, I just print out the number of seconds that it takes to do this sort. Now this sort function does take different kinds of sorting algorithms into account that you can use. I'm specifying stable to be the kind. Uh, I have compared all these and they are all pretty much the same except for heap sort. Heap sort takes much, much longer than the other ones. I don't know why it's even included as an option. If you know, let me know down in the comments below. So one other interesting thing I'd like to do here is on the MacBook Air M1, I have two environments set up. One is the Intel environment. So this is the regular installation of MiniForge. It's a Conda environment, Anaconda environment, but Anaconda itself or Miniconda does not support Apple Silicon natively yet. So you got to use this one if you want to use Apple version. All right, so I'm going to run that as well. I got another terminal open with the Apple version and you can see that in my environment label right here. So I'm going to start off with Intel version. Let's kick things off. So I'm going to run Python pi sort here and I'm going to run it here as well. And I'm going to press enter at the same time. Let's go. Now there is one difference between these two programs. This one prints out started and finished, whereas this one does not. So we're just gonna have to see when it's done. And let's take a look at activity monitor. I wanna show you this. Let's take a look at CPU. Here's Python process 3.9, and you can see there's only one of them, so it's using one CPU core, and it's fully utilizing it at 100%. There we go. And now if we take a look at the M1, we'll see the Python 3.9 process utilizing a lot of the CPU one process and it's running under Intel architecture. All right, so I am curious to see Intel versus Intel, but M1 versus Intel. Now, if you hear that noise, that's of course is our little friend here, our big friend, the Intel MacBook Pro. The fans are spinning up. This one's nice and silent and cool. And the MacBook Pro is getting warm, uncomfortably warm. It didn't burn me. I'm okay, folks. Now I do have her want to check the temperature here and this one is 27 degrees, nice and cool. This one is at 43 degrees. Yeah, 43 degrees on the MacBook Pro already. All right, I don't know how long this is gonna take as I haven't done a billion items. I did a hundred million, which took a while, but haven't done a billion, so. Maybe I need to make a coffee or something. All right, folks, I got a news update. The Intel box, the MacBook Pro is actually done and it's done first. So that's interesting. But I got to mention that the Intel process, it's actually translating in real time using the translation layer called Rosetta on the Apple Silicon machine on the M1 MacBook Air. And that could be that is most likely what is contributing to this slowdown on the MacBook Air. So you can see that running an Intel version on the Intel machine is actually pretty fast. It's pretty decent. But running the Intel version on the Apple Silicon machine is going to give you that slowdown due to translation. So let's see how long this takes to finish. The MacBook Pro finished in 178 seconds. Okay, and we have a finish here on the MacBook Air, 310 seconds. So quite a lot longer, about two times longer on the MacBook Air M1. But 
but let's test this out on Apple Silicon natively using the native version of Python and the environment, not the language, the environment, the Conda environment. So here I have that. I'm gonna run the same exact thing over here. And you know what? I'll make the MacBook Pro work this again. Let's do it. We'll make it another race. So Python, PySort, and we're ready to go. Let's go. So we know approximately how long it's gonna take on the MacBook Pro, about 178 seconds, right? But we don't know yet what it's gonna take on the Apple Silicon using the Apple architecture. And I'm gonna show that to you right now. In Activity Monitor, I'll pull this up. There's our Python process, taking up one CPU, running completely natively under Apple. All right, so let's see how long this takes. And by the way, this is now at 30 degrees, getting warmer. And this one is at 40, so getting cooler? interesting let's hear those fans though they're gonna kick up very soon folks i got a bit of a surprise here and i wasn't expecting this interesting the macbook pro finished at 177 seconds 0.59 which is uh, about a second less than last time so pretty consistent but the macbook air did not beat the macbook pro i repeat it did not but only by a couple of seconds so 181 seconds 0.75 from the macbook air to run this code 1 billion items sorted now that's pretty close and considering that this is about a four thousand dollar machine and this one is about a thousand dollar machine i'd say this is a pretty good deal but if you're looking for the extra bit of speed from your python code then uh I guess this is the machine for you. <laughs> so there you go, folks, a single processor test. Now, if you do want to see that multiprocessor test, I'll link to it right here. Check out that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.